Hey, it's Inve here with a quick interview uh, about some of the stuff that was shown at San Diego Comic Con. Before we get started, please sub. Uh, now that we've got that out of the way, uh, would you like to introduce yourself today, Mr. Wu Tang Chicken? Hey, everybody. My name is Wu Tang Chicken. Um, I'm a local to San Diego Comic Con, so uh, when I got the opportunity to jump at the uh, Armored Core special event, I uh, did that. All right, cool. With that out of the way, let's get right on to the questions. So first off, what was your kind of impression of the inner booth? A lot of people have just been taking pictures of the statue, and we haven't seen too much of the uh, the inside of that. I mean, we know it's red, <laughs> but that's about it. Yeah, so the, the inside was actually pretty neat. I didn't know what to expect getting there uh, outside of the, the hour-long line to get in. But um, once you get in, it's, it's this kind of funky setup they make it set up like they're trying to uh find and train new recruits um and uh they walk you through basically a couple of uh uh a, a couple of sections where you do it like a dexterity test and like a like a cognitive test and a couple of other things it was pretty neat uh the 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 atmosphere was pretty good everybody was really friendly and you know kind of helping you get around and uh uh that's pretty cool. So you mentioned the reflex tests. Um, what were those? It was kind of pretty unclear from their original listing what exactly they were going to be having you do. Yeah, so the reflex test. So you go in and you take a cognitive test first, which is just like you're on like a tablet and you're you're doing like quizzes and some of the stuff is Armored Core related, some isn't. And then the dexterity test is you basically get into this kind of somewhat enclosed off booth section where you've got um, a hexagon of um, light up panels on the wall in front of you. And basically, they give you about a minute to hit as many of the panels that are lit up as possible. And then you get a score based off of how well you do on that. Oh, well, that's uh, that's kind of cool. Was there, was there any Armored Core theming to it at all? Or was it just kind of like a light panel? <laughs> Uh, it, it was a light panel. The overall theming of the room was, I, I, I would say, maybe Armored Core-ish, but uh, really the biggest Armored Core thing going on in there was a lot of the, uh, the, they just had big flat panel screens all over the place playing, you know, the same demos that you've already seen, especially the gameplay demos. Uh, oh, yeah. Well, that's cool. Um, yeah. While you were there on those demo screens, did they show anything that we haven't seen before? Maybe the HUD? I mean, I would doubt it but uh, we can dream right yeah no there there was there was definitely nothing new um it was uh it was a lot of the same stuff we've seen um and and they did a pretty good job distracting you from even that uh good distraction <laughs> that was a fun time they had an oxygen bar in there uh an oxygen i'm sorry what's an oxygen bar <laughs> An oxygen bar. So an oxygen bar was was uh, uh, it was a kind of a fad about 15-ish years ago. But basically, you have a machine um, that um, basically flavors or scents, I guess would be the the right term, um, oxygen in a mix for you to breathe in. So they give you they give you like a disposable like 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 nostril plugs that you plug into the machine and then you're breathing in 92 percent oxygen and the hook is that you're supposedly inhaling coral so you're you're doing illegal drugs to become a better pilot during your recruit phase um while smelling <laughs> lavender and mango scented <laughs> oxygen <laughs> i'm i'm sorry this is gonna sound rude but are you are you fucking with me right now? <laughs> I'm absolutely not. I, I went in there, I'm telling you, I went in there with my 10-year-old daughter, and she looked at me like, Dad, what the hell did you take me to? <laughs> it, was, okay. it was pretty great, uh, all things considered. I had a blast. Like, once, once I kind of settled on, like, oh, we're doing this now, it was just like, yeah, this is nice, especially compared to the <laughs> heat outside. <laughs> Wow, oh man, that is... <laughs> yeah. They even gave it, they even gave you points towards your potential recruit score depending on what smell you liked the most. I... <laughs> I can't even think of something to say. That's honestly so flabbergasting. But... 
It was it was it was one of the most Comic Con things I think I've ever experienced, and I've been here quite a while. <laughs> so, so I'm like standing in there, and they're explaining it like within the context of the game. I'm like, oh, that's cool. So we came in here to do a reflex test and drugs. It's perfect. That's that's very very armored core. <laughs> It's the theme. <laughs> okay, moving on from that objectively really, really funny thing that they included. <laughs> Did you get any uh, any cool pictures of John Rubicon out front or anything else at the at the booth that you want to share with us? Oh yeah, absolutely. So I shared a picture of the swag that they give you, uh, which is a, a Armored Core Six cooling towel, a, a, a new pilot recruit badge with the code named Raven on there. Um, and then a, a, a pretty sick uh, Armored Core 6 shirt. I'm sorry, uh, cooling the, towel? Yeah, like apparently you just throw it, you throw it in some water and something about the towel, you just throw it over you and it just keeps you cool. Oh, okay, <laughs> I thought it was a mouse, pla mouse pad from first glance, but that's definitely interesting. They're really throwing some curveballs at you uh, with this event, huh? That is a really cool yeah. t-shirt, though. I, it's, I'm wearing it right now. <laughs> it's 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 a pretty high quality t-shirt and then that qr code in the picture what's that go to that goes to playarmoredcore.com ah got it okay well that'll save everybody in the uh, youtube comments about 40 seconds yeah and, there uh, you I see go that awesome picture of john rubicon right there um i know his name is ac nightfall but i refuse man yeah. that thing is so cool uh, it's I, uh, very cool go ahead <laughs> I, I heard that he was uh, sixty six percent scale. Um, about like how tall is it? Like from the pictures, it looks like it's maybe ten or fifteen feet. Is that sound uh, about right? Oh, I would is say a... yeah. So it's about it's about a good ten, maybe eleven or twelve feet from the the bottoms of the hands on the ground there, all the way up to the top. Definitely sixty six percent. Like I looked at it and I'm like, that's not full scale. I could I couldn't fit I couldn't fit in a cockpit in the middle of that core. Um, but it was very cool to see uh, in person there. It was uh, very striking. Yeah, I am well and truly jealous. Um, on to the next thing I'm a little jealous of. Did you get to go into the actual convention uh, itself, or were you just in the uh, surrounding area with the uh, with John Rubicon and the wine and uh, culinary center? Gotcha. So didn't go into the actual event, didn't get the badges in time, and didn't want to spend 420 bucks to go in for a single day or a half a day because I, I worked a little bit that day. But uh, did go into the Tekken 8 event, which was also being run by Bandai Namco right next door, and that was a blast. Oh, that's really cool. I'm uh, a little bit into fighting games, but I don't play much Tekken. Um, how do you feel like that was compared to the other Tekken games. You feel like uh, people are going to like it when they get to play it themselves? Uh, absolutely. It was. It felt very bombastic compared to what I remember from Tekken 7 when I first started playing it. Um, and uh, it, it was uh, It was definitely a lot of fun to uh, give and take with my uh, 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 kid that I took along with me. She had a blast as well. They had a bunch of professional cosplayers in there uh, actually some pretty incredible professional cosplay uh they had um they had a bunch of booths set up uh as you can imagine because we were playing the games um they had a a punching machine uh free merch but they'd given out basically as much as they could for the day so we didn't get any and then they were doing devil gin face painting <laughs> <laughs> man that's pretty sweet yeah those yeah. are uh that sounds awesome. Um, I think that pretty much wraps up my questions about uh, everything that was over there. Um, now that we're at the end, do you want to take this time to plug any of your stuff? Uh, yeah, I do a little bit of content creation on the side when I'm not dealing with, you know, being a 35-year-old adult uh, parent of children um, over at uh, Wu-Tang Chicken. Uh, no spaces, no underscores on YouTube, and you can find me on Mastodon of all places at Wu Tang Chicken at Hackyderm.io. And I will have those links down in the description below. Thank you. Um, yeah, and again, thanks again for coming on. Uh, I think that pretty much wraps this up. Uh, if you enjoy this kind of content, please sub, and that's the end of the video. Thanks.